greet each and every one of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For this video, I have taken the life of Joseph, Jacob's dearest son, from the Old Testament for us to be inspired and fuel our spiritual lives even more. Joseph had many quality traits, I mean really many gold standard quality traits that we can learn from his life. For this video, I have picked 5 quality traits that touch me the most. Starting with number 1, Faithfulness. From Joseph's life, I have learned the importance of seeking God even when things are going well. I stress this part again, even when things are going well. In most of our Christian lives, we turn to God only when things are not going well. It is like a default procedure. When things are not going well, we pray to God earnestly and ask for His help. But do we really see God when life's good, like we see God when life's not so good as we want it to be? Most of us don't. Joseph seeked God even when he attained the peak of success as much as he seeked God when he was in the midst of troubles. Even with extreme wealth and power at his disposal, Joseph waited on the Lord and watched in faith as the Lord brought his dream to fulfillment. He was faithful to Potiphar and even in prison where he was unfairly jailed and in doing so, he was being faithful to God. Prosperity and success will test our character infinitely more than hardship. So we too, like Joseph, must try to be faithful to God through the ups and downs in life. Let us see what the scriptures say about faithfulness. For he guards the course of the just and protects the way of his faithful ones. Proverbs 2 8. Number 2 Forgiveness. Joseph was not ill-treated by any anonymous person. He was ill-treated by his own brothers. He was sold as a slave to a foreign country by his own brothers. But Joseph didn't grow bitter. He didn't hold a grudge against his brothers. Instead, he forgave them wholeheartedly and treated them well. Joseph showed true compassion and true forgiveness. How many of us can be like Joseph? Because God expects us to forgive others. The scripture says, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Ephesians 4.32 Number 3. Man of Principles Joseph was a very principled man. He is the best example in the Bible of someone who resisted temptation. When Potiphar's wife tried to misbehave with Joseph, he didn't give in. Even though he knew the consequences that would come if he didn't give in, he never gave in. He remained faithful to his worldly master as well as his heavenly master. So in the end, God greatly blessed Joseph. Regarding temptation, the scripture says, Watch and pray, lest you enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Being a principled person in this world is not so easy unless God's with you. So do pray and ask God for His guidance. Coming to number 4. Humbleness. Joseph was in power and position even before his brothers came to Egypt seeking help. Imagine the options that would have been available to Joseph. He could have taken revenge if he wanted. He could have acted in pride. He could have demanded an audience while speaking with his brothers, but Joseph never did any one of these. Even when he revealed himself to his brothers, he asked his servants to leave the room so that they could have privacy. Joseph refused to act in flesh and remained dependent on the Lord. The power and prestige of Pharaoh never changed him. He was very humble, and that's the humbleness we should aim for. James chapter 4 verse 10 says that, Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and He will lift you up. Coming to the last one, but not the least, number 5, Patience. Joseph went through a lot of tribulations because of his brothers. Even in Egypt, he faced many challenges. For someone like that, it would have been easy to react in anger, to grow bitter and lazy without caring about the world around him. But Joseph didn't act like that. He completed whatever task God gave him wholeheartedly and with patience. The scripture says, Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Romans 12.12 12. 
So we too must try to follow these quality traits from Joseph's life. I hope this video was useful and thank you for sparing your precious time.